All right, here is a really quick overview of the new Google Earth that's built to work in Google Chrome's web browser, which means it will also work on Chromebooks. So this is pretty awesome. So you can just go to earth.google.com or google.com slash earth. And then when we're here, I'll just hit launch Google Earth. And I'm just gonna highlight a couple of things for you. Here we are, and we're looking at the Earth from outer space. So to find a place that you're looking for, you just come over here to the left and hit the magnifying glass. Um, and from here, you can type anything that you want. So this is always my go-to, just because I'm dying to uh, leave the country and see some major landmarks. So here we are looking at the Eiffel Tower. And if I want to look at more information about this, I can click this little card that has come over here to the right. And it'll open up more information about uh, the Eiffel Tower or whatever this landmark is um, that I'm looking for here. I can hit my back button. And then I can save it to my bookmarks uh, so that it's saved over here um, if it's a location that I want to get back to later. Now it's saved in my bookmarks. So I'll go back and hit done. Um, and then here are my groups of um, bookmarks or essentially my other KMZ or KML files that I have imported. So this is actually a Google Earth walk and I'll walk you through how to do that in just a second that I imported the KMZ file. So from here, I can actually go through and follow along. Let me close that while we're going there. Just like I would if it was the normal downloaded version of Google Earth. Here I am at my spot. I can hit this little eye to show the card. Uh, I found that if I just uh, zoomed out, if the card was too big, then I can see the whole thing. Uh, and read it just like I would do for a Google Earth walk. So here it has the cards and everything. I have not figured out if you're going to create your own how to add these little cards um, with pictures and information yet. So all I uh, have been able to figure out how to do is if you're trying to have students walk through a place um, would be to put it as a set of bookmarks, export that as a KMZ file, and then you can re-import it uh, as its own separate little tour here. So if you have better ideas, please uh, comment on the video and let me know. Um, all right, so then over here we have uh, the Voyager. This is pretty cool. There are a number of existing, essentially, tours that you can check out uh, and see what's on here. Um, oh, that looks pretty cool uh, with the great white shark there. Uh, there was one about museums where you can actually go inside of the museums using Street View technology. So some pretty cool things to check out that are already built. The dice will, uh, I'm feeling lucky, and it'll take you somewhere random. Oh, yes, please take me here um, in real life. And then we've already looked at the bookmarks. One thing, now I'll show you how you can import an existing uh, KML or KMZ file. And so if we come up here to our menu in the top left, our little hamburger, you're going to want to come down to settings. And before you can import existing math walks or Google Lit Trips, anything like that, you need to turn on, it's down at the bottom of settings, enable KML file, and then hit save. So here's an example. A lot of people know of Google Lit Trips. Uh, so obviously Google Earth, uh, it's very clear where there's a place for Google, something like Google Earth and social studies and ELA um, with things like Google Lit Trips. But what we don't always think of is to use it in um, math and even science. So I love this website. Um, it's just, I to get to it, I just do a search, a Google search for Google Earth Walks, and it's always the first thing that comes up. And so I just went to the math tab, and I'll do a different one. So we'll look at the properties and relationships of functions. And these um, are walks that are already built, and they were using the old version of Google Earth. Uh, but as you already saw, we can import them to still use them in the new Google Earth in uh, Chrome's web browser. So I'll just say download this walk. It's downloaded. Then I can come back over here to Google Earth. 
and I'll come to my bookmarks and right here I can say import KML file so I'm just gonna say open file and let's see it's this one Then I'll save it, and then here it is. I've got my uh, new math block that's already built right here. I could just share that uh, file with the kids if I wanted them to do it um, so that they could import it and then actually go through, answer, and respond to the questions. So I'll just double click, and then I'll be taken to that balloon on the map. And then I'll just hit the little I to see my card. And then again, if I just zoom out a bit, I'll be able to see the whole card. So that is uh, the new Google Earth in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. For more, please visit talktechwithme.com.